aluminum handlebar, aluminum handlebar stem, aluminum suspension fork. This is all from China. For Arnold Kamler, this is no longer just an eight-speed mountain bike. It's a reminder almost every part of his business is caught up in the U.S.-China trade war. Would these have all been subject to tariffs? These, everything in this building. Kent International is one of the largest bicycle and bike part wholesalers in the U.S., supplying Walmart, Amazon and other major retailers. So on a million-dollar shipment, which is a normal shipment for us, where a year ago we would have paid $110,000 of import duties, this year will be $360,000 of import duties. So um, it's quite expensive to handle. So expensive that after more than three decades of manufacturing and sourcing in China, he's shifting gears. We don't want to move away from our main suppliers, and so we're working together to build a fairly substantial factory in Cambodia. It, it's their money, it's a little bit of our, uh, our help and advice. Kent is part owned by its Chinese manufacturing partner. Last year, they purchased this plot of land in Cambodia, and when hopes of a trade deal fell apart in early May, construction plans were fast-tracked. They now hope to have the factory completed by early next year. Kent is just a small part of what experts say is one of the biggest shifts in global supply chains in years, accelerated by tariffs. For the last decade, or frankly two decades, China has been the factory of the world. Uh, and we've seen everything shift there from nails to cell phones. What's happening now is people are stepping back and saying, as labor rates are increasing and as there's uncertainty with tariffs, we need to rethink the sort of nature of the totality of our supply chain. Shoe designer Steve Madden, GoPro, even iPhone maker Foxconn are all shifting or considering shifting some production away from China to avoid the tariffs. It's a beautiful front suspension mountain bike. Arnold Kamler says the irony is before the tariffs hit, he wanted to move more production back to the U.S., expanding this assembly plant he set up in South Carolina in 2014. The tariffs on parts have made that too expensive. We believe that we have the opportunity to bring back the American bicycle industry, which was decimated by China uh, 25 and 30 years ago, and bring it all back here. But we need some help from the government. So for now, this century-old family business is heading into uncharted ground.